gonna work or something. Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is KG. This is me. I don't know why you do that. All I don't know. Time. I just get really I fucking excited. KG, me. Uh, this is drunk live. We're the we're the drunks, and it's we're fucking Saturday. Wow. We're fucking drunk. Let's do it. What? It feels like we haven't been on in three weeks, but we were just on seven days ago. So. Whatever. Not uh, well, yeah, like hardly even seven days. I, I mean, like I'm fucking ready. Let's do it. Yeah, what's wrong with you? I don't know. I'm drunk. Uh -oh. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like Doyle from fucking Biodome. I don't know why. My beautiful 17 year old daughter braided my hair. They're down for the weekend. Oh yeah, we got we got prison braids and, today. And she did a beautiful job on my hair. I'm super excited because I've never had my hair braided like this. She did two. French braid ponytail things. Yeah. Off the back. Pigtails. Yes. I think and I have five. I slept with them all night and I woke up, and my hair was soft and beautiful. And I told her, I said, Hey, can you just make me look like Doyle from Biodome for the show? I, I think it'll be a huge hit. And she did it. It took like an hour and a half. And in that span, I actually finished Battlefront 2 Inferno Squad. <laughs> So it was a win-win. I finished my book, and she did my hair for the show. And Excellent. I'm super happy that she's down because she's beautiful. She's awesome. 17, almost an adult in October. Super scared, but I love her to death. And she did kill her job. And she's multi-talented. Does all kinds of great shit. Painting, drawing, you name it, she does it. She's awesome. So big shout-out to my daughter. Thank you for the dreads or whatever the Not fuck dreads. they are. Those are braids. I don't know. They're shit braids. locks. Whatever. So, enough with Kyle's fucking man braids. <laughs> I got braids, too. <laughs> we have a prison war coming up today. Uh, so, uh, let's get started. I think uh, this is going to be a fun one. It's going to be think. a good show, for sure. Mm. I think so. And this freeloading bastard, this is it. After this week, you're fucking out. You just show up every week, oh, yeah. you drink my fucking water... You know, that's purified shit. You just show up. Whatever. He's not drinking a beer. You're out. Yeah, maybe you should drink beer. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Mm. One day I'm going to actually choreograph a, a dance to this song. Absolutely. So, so before we get started, what the fuck are we drinking? Uh, we are drinking the new New England style IPA from House of Pendragon called Dooku. Count Dooku. Count Lord Tyrannus, Dooku. or as I like to call it in my Force Ghost class, the late, great Christopher Lee. That's what I like to call it. I'm just he calling now, it. He's now a Force Ghost. I'm, I, I'm just calling it the Christopher Lee New England style IPA. I, I would call it the Christopher Lee ghost. Like the Christopher Lee ghost. The ghost of Christopher Lee. This is the ghost of Christopher Fucking Lee a. that we're drinking right now. Mm. What the fuck is going on tonight? I got Biggie going on right now. Yeah? I do. To go along with um, our battle royale we're going to have I got today. bitches in the living room getting it on. Oh, uh, that's a totally different song. Oh, okay. Just so you know. I'm ready to bust a cap in your ass. No. But you do like it when I call you Big Papa. Yeah. You do. You like when I call you Big Papa. So, um, so Dooku, yes. House of Pendragon yes. released. They released on IPA Day, which was Thursday. Thursday. Uh, 7%. Great fucking beer. We went out and uh, enjoyed IPA Day. We went to Tioga Sequoia. We got Summer Vibes IPL, Indian Pell Lager. Which you can see our review coming for that coming, people. next day or two. We got du uh, Dookie. We, we got Dooku, uh, New England style IPA. We did. Uh, also, a review you'll see coming in the next couple And days. then, to like a nightcap, we got Lancelot IPA made by House of Pendragon as well. So, we had a great day on Thursday. We got to try killer beers. It was 104 out and it was raining. The, the rain was coming down on my windshield and it was evaporating as soon as it hit the glass. Yeah, it, it I was, was kind of sad. It was, it was, it was, it was I was kind of sad weird. that like I didn't get any uh, lightning and thunder and all that stuff in the summer. Well, they got it up in the mountains for sure and they needed it. So yeah, they got a shit for, ton of rain. For real. So yeah, Summer Vibes, so, Lancelot, Dooku. IPA Day was a hit. IPA Day was awesome. And uh, we just went in Tioga Sequoia. We got our beer. We tried Vermontine. Uh, double IPA, which was fucking delicious. We liked it a lot. We Maybe missed some... we missed the original panning though, so yeah. we didn't we weren't able to do a review. But 
our unofficial review is Vermonting is delicious. Absolutely. It's good. Uh, so we got that. We headed out. We went over to House of Pendragon and we tried. Well, they did still have Force Ghost on tap. So we got a couple glasses of that and we got our growler filled with Dooku. And Which after is that, what we're drinking tonight. Absolutely. And then after that, we went over to Grog's Irish Pub. Yeah. But they did have Lancelot IPA, it which we wanted really to try. It actually really bothered me that they called it an Irish pub because it was just a bar. I, I didn't get the with Irish. Irish, Irish. It's so like, hey, we're a bar, but uh, we have Jameson signs and uh, they didn't even Guinness have signs. Guinness, Guinness, and and Jameson. There was no. Well, one thing that pisses me off, they had a big sign in there that said Anchor Steam, and I love Anchor Steam. So I saw the sign, I was like, ah, fuck, I'll get an Anchor Steam, you know, post on the, you know, on the page. And I asked the uh, the waitress. I said, "You know, can I get an anchor steam?" Oh, we don't have that. Well, why the fuck are why you advertising it? Why do you big ass sign of anchor whatever. steam? So if you're in the area, the it original might be one, craft it might be one to, sure. to pass up. I don't know that I would go there, but whatever. Uh, so what do we have tonight, kids? We have Lego build off. What? I haven't I haven't been talking shit all week on this because uh, I build Lego slow. Yeah. And I know I'm going to get my ass kicked, and I'm super drunk, so I'm going to take my time. <laughs> and you guys are going to be bored as fuck watching me build Lego. You you need – you. I'm going to give you a timer. I have early onset of, like, Parkinson's disease. I shake because all the chemicals and stuff I've been around for my whole life doing what I do for a living. So trying to build, like, little tinker toys and small tasks like that take me a while. I will fucking lose. I'm putting money on the fact that I will fucking lose tonight. You're, I'll put twenty on it. I you're betting. You're betting that I'm gonna win. You're gonna win. All right. Just, just so Kyle has a train. It Cage, looks like Thomas the Tank. Cage honestly. has Cage has a train. Yeah. And I have uh, a race car. It, it, you know, it kind of looks like a rally car. I think. Jesus, titty fucking <laughs> Christ. So I have I have a car. But it, the, these little guys are pretty cool. They are three-in-one creator sets, which we're not really. We love Lego. Don't get us wrong. I, I do have a couple creator sets. A space shuttle. You do. I have a, uh, a fighter jet that was fucking awesome, and I have a, like a race uh, car or something too. Though. Well, I have a couple of those, but I also have a prop plane, mm -hmm. which is one of my favorites. And what's fucked about the creator sets? The bags are not numbered, so have fun, good times. Well, this should only have one bag in it because they're they are seventy one and seventy two pieces respectively. So, yeah. but the cool thing is, is that you can actually create uh, up to. Three different. Well, which things. pisses so, me off because in this one, you you're it's able like three to get parts like of a the train. Yeah, I'm well one of them, but you can get like a coal car. So it's like, dude, I want to buy another one to get the coal car to to be able to make it. Well, yeah, it I mean, if it's gonna be in the Lego room, I'm gonna have the coal car with it, so I might go get another one. So you can actually get a caboose, an engine, and a and a coal car out of that one, and I can get like a tow truck. And a sports car and like a dragster of something. And I think these were like what ten bucks. I less even. I think they were only like five bucks. So we didn't want to go all out for this. I wanted to do poly bags because I thought that poly bags. Would but be all easier. they had was one poly bag, one type of poly bag, and we wanted to build something separate. So in just a bit here, we're gonna get onto this. Uh, I'm pretty excited about that. I think. That, I yeah, think let's gonna... get some of the business out of the way. So I think the biggest business that we need to get out of the way is that we kind of, we kind of announced on the last show, but if you're just tuning in, uh, if you're actually, if you're just tuning in, share it. Well, we announced on the last show that I'm still Dre. And as of this week, I'm still Dre too. So. I don't know that you ever not, were not Dre. Oh, okay. Whatever. So uh, if you are currently watching this, please give it a share on your favorite social media with the hashtag drunk live and let everybody know that you're watching two drunk fucking idiots. Except for ridiculous. Tinder, because I will not show my very small penis uh, to social media. Not Tinder. Are you planning on get pulling it out or? Well, I mean, do we have a Zoom feature on the camera? Because. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Uh, so uh, give us Tom a share. Thumb over here. Give us a share with the hashtag Drunk Live. Yeah. This guy. Uh, give us a share with the hashtag Drunk Live and let everybody know that you're watching like, the Drunk Live. Like, share, and subscribe. Live. Click the fucking bell down there. Do subscribe over here. Comment here. down there. Comment after the live show. Yeah. Let us know if you like Lego. Let us know if you like IPAs. Talk to us. We'll communicate with you. It's a damnedest thing. 
We have time. We, we can do it. So. We will. Uh, so aside from all of that, last week we announced that we are going to be going back to every other Saturday. Uh, well, not back to, I have to say, because we really weren't every other Saturday. But our new schedule for the school year uh, will be, so fall and winter is looking uh. like so, Barring any specific uh, special shows, which we actually have one coming up, we uh, are going to be coming to you every other Saturday at 6 o'clock. So we will not be here next Saturday at 6. What the fuck are we doing? My life is going to be crazy. I, I am going back to work. Maybe I'll do it by myself. Well, know. there there are new shows coming. There will we always have drunk vibes. I'm coming. very burpy. I mean, tonight. we always have. Dr- I know it's really fun to talk over. Uh, we always have drunk quickies coming. More more drunks can cook. Uh, more shows from us singularly by ourselves. We're a gonna pint make. and a pipe is coming. We're working on it a, eventually. A pint and a pipe. A pint and a pipe. So it should be it should be pretty fun. And uh, I'm working on my own show as well. So uh, lots and lots of stuff coming to you. However, drunk live itself is just going to be every other week. Except the 19th, when we are supposed to come back from our doing our other every other week, uh, will be a pre recorded show. And that is because we are headed to Tioga Sequoia, which is one of our favorite breweries locally, to watch the Sandlot and drink beer. They are playing the Sandlot. Fuck. It's going to be super fun. So That's we awesome. will have a really awesome, I think we're, we're looking at a beer wars for that night. Um, but it will be pre-recorded. But the following weekend, so we're actually not taking a break. The following weekend is my birthday. So we're going to have a party. We're going to have a live party. 20, 28 or 29 this year? It's this sweet. I know. <laughs> I'm getting some tonight, baby. Oh, yeah. not, I, I will be celebrating an anniversary of my 29th birthday. Okay. Uh, but I am going to have some special guests come on. I'm pretty excited about that. We're working that. on it. We're working We're on 50% it. 50% of the way there. 50% uh, of the way to our special guests. It's going it's to be We cool. might have to move uh, our, our filming studio out of the actual bar area and into a larger area. I don't know yet. Uh, that being said, too, we are so close so close to hitting our milestone so we can have our beer pong tournament i'm really excited about that so uh please subscribe and get your friends to subscribe so that we can have that live beer pong tournament and siobhan says more drunks can't cook i mean it's just something that we haven't had a lot of time for it takes a lot of time to edit those a minor announcement for the drunks um, I cannot, I cannot remember the name of the documentary, but it was a new release on Netflix. The drunks have become ninety-five percent vegetarian <laughs> at this point. Uh, I have not had a meat product, with the exception of seafood, in a week. And eggs. And eggs. But product. I, well, that was French toast. It was like a light dipping. <laughs> It's still an exit. But I'm going to give it a shot with cutting chicken, pork, beef out of my diet. Processed foods, box goods, canned shit. We never really had box goods. I mean, it was really my I'm going to try it for six months to see what happens. But I cannot remember the name of the fucking review the or, documentary. Or, or, or the documentary, but it changed my life. And I'll never look at meat the same way again. I'm kind of fucking done. I was a vegetarian for quite a many and years. I'm a barbecue. And going back is pretty. I throw two like five pound pork butts in the smoker, and let them go. I do ribs. I do tri tip. Meat is my thing. Sounds so good. You, I you know after watching this review, I'm kind of done. So consider us. You have called this documentary a review three times now. I don't know. I'm fucking. I'm drunk. It's a it's a documentary review. It's a of, documentary review of, of meat. Of, of what is a review of meat, meat and uh processed foods can do to somebody milk milk yeah, dairy uh, you know especially I'm dairy good. products yeah i'm kind of good so we're turning a new leaf we're gonna try it for six months you know we're gonna see what happens i'm really excited i'm gonna tell you i haven't had any beef chicken or pork in a week almost Not a week I feel a little bit better. Honestly, I've lost six pounds. I've lost six pounds. Yeah. And I have, a, you know, a little bit more energy. I feel a little bit more focused when I'm not drinking. But <laughs> yeah, your review. There's something. <laughs> 
fucking going on here, people? So, so I, in six six months from now, I'm going to give you a full review of how I feel after taking on this 95% vegetarian diet because I refuse to throw seafood out the window because I love seafood. I love oysters. I love crab. I really love shrimp. I had shrimp tacos well, last and night. We, they were we delicious. Talk, we talked about, too, if if we – because there is some concern about Drunk at the Grill and the show that we were planning and all this yeah. stuff. So um, we have discussed that when and if we choose to uh, consume meat, it will likely not be chicken. Um, we're really definitely not into chicken. Uh, but we are looking for locally sourced, uh, grass-fed – no antibiotic meat products. But, so but I will if you have an in on that, let us know. But, but I will definitely uh, cook for my family when they come over for holidays and stuff. I don't have a problem with well, that. And, you and can, I might sneak a you, you know, can pinch grill, of, You can grill and you can smoke vegetables and yeah. fruits and all kinds of fun Fish, stuff. So that should, be, that should be a really, uh, a really interesting aspect to ne- add next, to next week or the week after, I, I, I do want to uh, state the name of that documentary that we watched because it was profound. It, uh, it changed me and uh, not to get too sappy and too depressing. But we've lost a but lot you're of, about to. Just, you know, just for a second, we, we've lost a lot of people in our life uh, due to uh, diabetes and cancers. Um, and, and I do feel after watching this documentary that with a simple lifestyle change, uh, eating a lot more plants, uh, you know, like more of a, a plant based diet that. Which um, I have to say, barley and hops are plants. You know, absolutely. However, you need to understand that there is actually a, a process in the brewing that involves uh, animal byproducts. Uh, maybe not this, but uh, you'll be sad to hear that Old Speckled is not vegetarian friendly. <laughs> Just so you know. Do they grind up a Just hen? So you... No, I can't remember off the top of my head because okay. clearly I've been drinking, but... There is a product that they use in but in the brewing process. Maybe like lactose, like the canning. No, it it is removed in the canning process, but in the barrel process. But I'm really excited for this. It's like turning a new leaf. It's like discovering something new, and watching that documentary, thinking about my future, my future for my kids, being there, and thinking about you know people that we've lost in our lives that. Um, maybe a diet change maybe not gravitating towards like fast foods processed foods a lot of meat you know a quick meal um maybe it would have been different so i'm excited i feel good honestly i i i'm fat as fuck but i feel a little lighter today mm-hmm. you know somebody's asking siobhan's asking on our live chat uh was it called what the health yes that's what it was called. Yes. What the health? Yes. Okay. That, that was I don't know what it was called, but I watched it, and that, that, it, was, it was pretty profound. Was I it. have to agree. Yeah. Um, so it, now, it was, now that health. that our uh, I'm new sorry. diet I, is I, out of the way, yeah. <laughs> but uh, you know, one thing I always said, I you know, I can you know, like I always tell my doctor, I can completely change my diet. I can quit smoking. I can quit chewing. You know, I can become a vegetarian, you know, whatever it needs to help my health and lower my blood pressure, prolong my life. I will never give up beer. I don't drink hard alcohol hardly ever. Very rarely will you so, see the drunks consuming hard alcohol. But However, I, I, we I, are beer drinkers. I will not. Stop. I do need to have a little bit of fun in my life. And I find that with beer, I'm not an alcoholic. I mean, we pretty much just consume as much as we can on the weekends, but, you know, unless there's like a special release or whatever, but that's one thing I won't get out because I love beer too much. And especially like craft beers, local brews, there's a lot of love that's poured into those beers. You know, a lot of time, a lot of effort that's put into them. I'm down. I want to try them. So, like I said, new lifestyle change. I'm all in. I feel better. The stamina is there. I'm, I'm fucking ready to go. I'm curious to see what happens with my own metabolism and body now that, you know, I, I had my thyroid removed last year. So yeah, I just keep gaining weight no matter what I do. So I'm but, curious. But I definitely do think it's what the health. And, you know, if you guys haven't checked that out, check it out. 
and uh, let us know if it changes your life. It was like this guy. It, it it was a wake up call from five minutes in watching that documentary, and I love my hamburgers. I love my greasy meat. I love my cheese. I love my eggs. No, no, I'm good. Sorry, I'm I'm listening to Salt and Pepper up here. I'm not. Really Are we gonna do this? I'm so ready. I'm like I'm I'm itching. Well, I'm it's supposed it. to be a race, but we have a lot to talk about. We do have so. a lot to talk about. So, but we don't have a lot of time to talk about it with. So, what we're gonna have to do here is we're going to race and uh, talk to you guys about all of the awesome new stuff that we've come across this week. Okay. I'm pretty excited about this. I, I think that adds an extra challenge too. Well, you have a lot more talking to do than me. I do have more talking to do. Well, because some of the stuff, it's like, I, I don't know what that is. So. I tried to explain it to you, and you didn't want you to. So I have 71, or I have 72? You have 71, and I have 72. Okay. And you're building the train, right? And I'm just going to build this. <laughs> I feel really awkward um, doing this. Because Why? I'm drunk, and I'm probably just going to sit there and just, uh, I can't do it. <laughs> No, this should be. I'm pretty excited about this. So you said that you want to talk about it, you know, on the show. I don't know much about it. Tell me about the AMC uh, scary mm. shit that's coming. So let's <coughs> let's get our uh, our shit opened up and started here. Okay, I want it on the table, and then okay. we'll get it going. On the table, all my pieces are here, dumped on the table. Okay. Okay. Scoot over a little bit. You, right. Can you like get your man spread out of my way? Sorry. Thanks. Sorry. Let me give me some room here. All right. All right. So, uh, let me see. Where am I at here? I hate when they bend these. And then whenever you're ready for another beer, let me know. What I actually have to pee really bad, so this should be interesting uh, to try. Are to... we going to take a time out or what? No, no, I'll hold okay. it. I'll hold it. Okay. Um, okay. You already have your page open. I, I do. Gonna, I'm, I I'm, ready I'm ready okay. to rock. I'm ready to rock. So, uh, are we ready to start? Let's do it, but we have to talk about these other I know, things. I know. So th we are going to try to squeeze in all of the awesome stuff that has happened this weekend in pop culture news uh, and also build this at the same time. So bear with us. Let us know who you think is going to win. Tell us right now in the comments, not the live chat. Go to the comments and let us know who do you think is going to win uh, this race right here. And uh, I think whoever guesses right uh, among the correct guesses, maybe we'll send you these. <laughs> these builds <laughs> whatever what the fuck are we gonna do with them ready so i'm ready three two Kay. one go. go so uh amc announced this week that they are going to add three whoop three new um ah, i'm flying all over the place three new uh blah, 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 anthology shows okay. to their lineup and I'm really excited about quite a few of these, actually, because they should be pretty fucking fun. One of them is called Underbelly, and it's it's being produced by the you know Chris Hardwick from uh, Singled Out, and he does Talking Dead, Talking Dead, yeah. and all that stuff. Okay. So his production company is putting out a, a new show on AMC called Underbelly. Of course, it would be on AMC. Of course, we on AMC because he sucks AMC's dick, but whatever. Uh, so, dude, is this Coolio? This is yeah. Coolio from the Dangerous Minds soundtrack here. Uh, so, um, Underbelly is going to be, I think it's a nonfiction anthology series about all of the seedy, dark goings on with, um, the Hollywood underground shit. So, you know, you hear about, like, pedophilia and all that stuff uh, when it comes to like Hollywood and, and okay. producers and everything. So I, I fucked up already. I'm drunk. See? I think it's going to cover that that aspect. And is that a series or is that It's going to be a series, an anthology series. So an anthology is something that has different stories each time. <coughs> so each episode will be different. Okay. Um, then in addition to that, uh, Greg Nicotero, who is kind of a mastermind behind Walking Dead and Fear the Walking Dead. He does Dead all and, the special effects, like well, makeup and, he, and everything. Well, and he's like one of the directors or something, too. Okay. Um, he's coming out with, with one also with some other producers and directors. Um, all about, <laughs> uh, they're going to be paying an homage 
to be horror movies, which is pretty exciting because you know that's kind of my wheelhouse. Right. Um, Troll 2, motherfucker. What? Oh my god. So I'm pretty excited about this. It's going to be called Shock Theater. Uh, and it's nothing actually has a release date yet. This is all just stuff that was announced this week, last week. Um, but I'm pretty excited about it. I'm, I'm curious to I'm see. I'm freaking the fuck out. I think I'm missing a piece. You're never missing a piece. I think I'm missing a piece. Only twice to have be there honest. ever been missing pieces. I don't know. I think um, I'm missing a piece. Can you check my box? Check my bag. Let me know. Your bag. All the bags. Oh, I found it. Never mind. Oh my okay. God. Why do I have to stop doing what I'm doing? Shit, sorry. Well, I'm cheating. Do prison <laughs> rules, bitches. Prison rules. I will prison cut rules. a fucking shank. I will fucking cut You'll you. Cut a shank? I will fucking make a shank. Make a shank. So those all sound really awesome, especially, especially. No, 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 no. Especially yeah. uh, Shock Theater. I'm pretty excited about that one. But. There is one coming out that I think you're going to be really happy about, Gage. Uh -huh. It is called Wicked West, and it's from uh, Jason Blum, who does Blumhouse. Oh, all okay. The Blumhouse production. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's going to follow the Wild West and all of the CD dark. So you got me intrigued. See, this shit. is fucking cheating right now. I'm like fucking into it. I'm right sitting now. here trying to remember all of these facts, talking about these shows and building. You're being the shady. Time. You're trying to fucking distract me. I think. Prison rules, bitch. Prison rules. You you know you're gonna win. Come on. Well, you know, usually. I can't fucking. But do you it. know you know what prison rules mean, right? Uh, I don't know. What well, getting fucked in the ass? It means that afterwards, when I win, yeah. you're my bitch. Ooh. Yeah. So a normal Saturday night. Yeah, usually. Okay. So um. I'm really excited about this uh, Wicked West. It is going to be a uh, nonfiction uh, retelling anthology of all of our really fun Wild West serial killer uh, madam people. Uh, what are they called when they're women and they kill their black widows? Okay. So you're gonna get a lot, a lot of the Black Widow kind of stories and and all of the. Uh, and, uh, where's this going? and when are the fuck are these coming up? There's no release date on any of this stuff yet, but okay. uh, as soon as I know, uh, you guys will know. Everybody will will get the word from us. Okay. Dude, I am kicking your fucking ass right now. Are you almost done? I mean. Yeah. Fuck! I feel like a piece of shit. Uh, oh, no. I am yes, almost done with this. I mean, the, I mean, obviously we have a clear winner tonight, dude. I, it, it I, I not, called this shit. It should not have even you know? been a question as to who was going to win. I this. mean, we know you're better, you know, in but. pretty much all aspects. But yeah. <laughs> uh, but you know what happens a lot to me though? I'll I fuck up. Like I'll get going really fast and I'll skip a page. Or I'll miss something, uh, and then I have to undo and go back. Right. But I think I've got this one. Think so, huh? I'm pretty sure I do. So uh, who do you think is gonna win now, bitch? I don't Who's know. Who's the bitch hey, now? I never, I, I never boasted in any I'm even way. gonna stop and take some beer. Fuck you, mm -hmm. asshole. Fuck you. And I'm done. Are you done? No, I'm done with my beer. Oh. Well, as Ow. soon as we're done with this, I will go get us a refill. Oh, shit. Sure. See, I already fucked up. I got cocky. See, this is a tortoise and the hare. Tortoise and the hare. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about all of these shows coming to AMC. Uh, but I Well, like I, you said, no release date, No release right? dates so. yet. I'm not sure when that's going to come out. But hopefully uh, we don't have to wait too long. Okay. However... You know what we don't have to wait long for because it's almost here. What's up? Oh, oh, thank God I had one up here. I was gonna have to look for that. Uh, it. Okay, so, so I, I haven't seen the. I saw one. Trailer oh my for God! It. So I spent last night watching all of the new trailers that came out for it. Um, I am absolutely excited for this, and I am a, a, an original it fan. I am a huge. Um, I'm done. Fuck! <laughs> See? And I the called winner! That I called that shit. By TKO! Fuck you. What animals? 
See, I fuck your up. train, bitch. Fuck your train. Whatever. Whatever. That's fucked up. How is it fucked up? Because I won. I even dropped a piece and I still won. Dropped a piece? I did. I dropped a piece. Well, I'm going to finish fucking building here. So. All right. Have fun. I'll finish telling you about it. So a lot of the trailers, uh, well, a lot of what we see in all of the trailers together are, uh, are uh, a, a lot of scenes that we saw. But the, the doorbell original. rang. I know what it our, is. Our, what is it? Our doorbell just rang. It totally did just ring. Um, so uh, I got backwards here. So a lot of the stuff that we see in these new It trailers is really reminiscent of the 90s. Uh, I think it. I, I think it was a mini series that it that it was. I, I can't remember honestly. I don't know. Um, you see a lot of the same kind of stuff. They are clear representations of these characters um, that we all kind of know. If you're any kind of it Stephen King fan from the books or from from the movie, uh, and I'm really excited. It comes out September eighth. Okay. It should be. It, I'm really happy. Is there like a Scars Guard or something playing the? There is. Clown? There is a Scars Guard. Do you know if Tim Curry has a cameo? I don't, but I do know that he had a stroke or something like some years ago. Yeah. And I uh, I know he's in a wheelchair at this point. I'm not really sure that he would have a cameo. It would be cool. And don't get me wrong, I am a major Tim Curry fan. And I really, really love Pennywise, one of the best characters. And this Skarsgård, I believe, is Bill Skarsgård. Alexander Skarsgård is the uh, – he played uh, – whatever vampire eric on true blood oh okay so his brother his little brother his who little was brother. in uh the netflix show called hemlock grove and he was okay in that it wasn't amazing he played i mean we're talking eric. about a major ass whooping right now you want me to finish building that no nope, i got it i mean there there were some major fuck ups along the way but <laughs> you know i would like to thank my sponsors i mean this is fucked who are your sponsors i don't know I do have to point out that Lego in no way sponsored this or approves of any of this. They're they're huge about their trademark and how it's used. And uh, we purchased this on our own and are building this on our own. Lego has had nothing to do with this build at all or this supreme ne ass whipping. Yeah, ne neither has uh, common sense and ability to read instructions. Just so I put it out there right now. So from now on, I guess when... Uh, <laughs> Everybody, anybody ever questions? There we uh, fucking go. Did you have three? one piece left over? Because I only had two. I had three. Okay. Well, maybe yours isn't complete yet. Suck my balls. No, because I you can make three different things out of this, so you could make something different. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. So, I so I could try. I could challenge you again. No, no, fuck no. I'm done with that. I mean, that was a clear ass whooping. But right I mean, there. maybe on another show. Um, are you ready for another beer? Because I am. Yeah, I'll take another another uh, Dooku here. I keep trying not to say Dooku. You want me to uh, get some yeah, new glasses? No, these are fine. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to go take a minor piss break. Oh, quick. dude, I've been holding it. I've been oh, holding it, you. and you're going to take you a You always piss. go. I'm going you're this You're going to take a pisser? I'm going to take a pisser. And then when I get back, you can take a pisser. No, nah, I'll hold it. I'll hold it. We actually don't have a, lot, a whole a hell of a lot of time left uh, with what we wanted to accomplish All with right. this show here. I'll be right back. Since I... Totally fucking kicked your ass. It, it, it was a fucking massacre. And you saw it here, folks. Uh, the ass whooping of the century by about seven minutes. I'll have to rewatch this video once it's up and loaded uh, to see who or how, not even who, to see how long uh, ahead of Kyle I finished my awesome drag shirt here. I'm not really certain uh, what would change necessarily with this and the other car, uh, but it's pretty cool. And I think that maybe I will end up challenging Cage to another build off because we can build uh, three things with each of these. So I built, I built this one today, but there is a tow truck and then another car that I can build. And with the train, you can see there's a train, there's a coal car, and then there's, I think, like a caboose, or a, an engine and a caboose. So uh, this should be pretty interesting to see if I can get him to play this game again because he doesn't like to get his ass kicked, and he just clearly had that happen. So uh, I am pretty much 
just counting down until September 8th. I know that uh, you're counting down until December, but oh, I'm, yeah. I'm, I, I'm really excited for it. We will have a full review of that coming up as soon as that's out also. So pretty excited. Uh, the Alien Covenant A-Box is still on its way. It's going to be here. It's finally shipped. Um. Did you talk about the eBay mystery boxes? No. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay, tell so tell Buzz, about that shit. I feel like I've done all the talking. So BuzzFeed. So fucking stupid. And fucking he's idiots out, out there. Like he won't let me do it. Okay, Fuck so no. BuzzFeed just released a video. Uh, and it is all about the eBay mystery boxes. So eBay, if you go on eBay, uh, they you can purchase a mystery box. And people just post a picture of the box or or a cool graphic or something of a box with a question mark or just not your mom's box just a sh but just a random box just a shitty drawing of poorly drawn question mark if you go to buzzfeed uh you can see it search buzzfeed mystery ebay mystery box you'll be able to find it um the chick who does the video has a really interesting mouth she moves it in a weird way so i like to watch her talk i, I really hope that she was doing it for like shock effect i think like she was doing it for the show but uh, so she, she ordered these three boxes anyway of multiple, uh, oh, she had, she had a various, 15, a 15 to 50 and a hundred. Okay. So they came sporadically and she ended up opening them all. And what was in them was fucking trash. It was garbage. I'm like, dude, I have crap in my house that I could throw into a box and ship it off to somebody. And they might actually be kind of happy. Well, to except for one, I think it was a hundred or the $50. There was a decent looking marijuana pipe. In there. Hundred. Yeah. Hundred. Well, this is uh, Dude, summer my favorite vibes. Snoop Dogg song is on right now. Summer vibes IPL Tioga Sequoia review is coming for that one Absolutely. any day. Uh, so I have been trying to talk him into letting me get an eBay mystery box uh, to have on the show. Uh, please don't pour that in my glass. Uh, oh. To to have on the show uh, and open up. A surprise box but he won't let me do it because he says that somebody could put poison or a bomb in there a venomous snake and what i'm trying to say is i'm a realist somebody, what can somebody I say? could also put a po poison or a bomb or a venomous snake in anything i bought on ebay so what the fuck is the difference between a mystery box i could post a picture of this guy right here and say i'm gonna send that to somebody and send them a snake instead oh this freeload master yeah that guy well that guy so you, that right you know, I, I, it could really, it could really happen anytime you buy anything off of eBay. Anybody could just send you crap. Literally, a box of shit. I think she even says somebody could have farted in a box and sent it to me. I could shit in a box and send it to somebody. Heavily uh, taped. Heavily taped. Well, you know, one thing that I was thinking. I mean, obviously that pipe had to have been unsmoked because don't they? Aren't they? Don't they have like drug dogs and stuff? Like nah, not necessarily. Oh, uh, okay. Oh. oh my gosh, what an excellent idea. I love this idea. So in our live chat, uh, it has been brought to our attention that somebody could send us a mystery box of their own from their own home. Uh, and and we could open it here on the show and, and have something pretty awesome. So if you want to ship us something and we'll open it on the Do show. Do not ship us your feces. Please we don't have send us shit. Box out there. Please don't oh. send us turds. Uh, but we'll kind of take pretty much or anything like, else. Or, or, or like a used condom or uh, nude photos I'll, bring, I'll, of I'll get some gloves. We'll open it with some gloves. Okay. So if you or want not a bomb, for fuck's sake. Please don't I don't have a device that can detect for bombs or a bomb-sniffing dog. Uh, My dog has the ability of sniffing his own ass and other dogs' asses. Yeah. That's about it. And he doesn't even let me know if it smells good or bad. I don't know. I don't, I, I, yeah, don't send us a bomb or anything. But if you want to send us a mystery, a mystery box of some crap from your house or whatever, uh, let us know in the comments, and we'll get a hold of you with a with a, an address that you can ship that to. Uh, okay. And that sounds fun. <laughs> that sounds fun. I'm really excited about that for sure. Uh, get your friends to do it too. Send this to share this with your friends and let them know that we are accepting mystery boxes and we want to open up your garbage. Dude, one of them, one of them she opened up was a gumball, like a loose used and like gumball. like an old, dirty Mickey Mouse toy. No, thing. the worst, the worst was the floss pick 
Oh yeah, <laughs> dude, yeah. it was a used floss pick. I have no idea. But there was like there was like a couple belts and a couple pairs of pants and she a purse. Actually, she actually got a decent. A she made out with the hundred dollar box. Not made out, not still, for a hundred bucks. Still fucking There was like stupid, a, a Ronald Reagan biography book and a, a like a straw <laughs> purse and a pair, a couple pairs of shorts. It's like, dude, really? You paid a hundred dollars for this? Yeah. Okay. I have a lot of crap around my house. In fact, I have a whole box full of crap. A whole box in my office of just I mean, stuff that well, I Honestly, collected. you want to talk about easy way to make money? It's a box full of crap. So for there, box. there is. I actually, that... just found out that my son, fucking whatever, he's going to school. He buys energy drinks, ninety nine cents a piece at the store. On the way to school. On the way to school, goes to school, flips them for three bucks. Technically, they're not supposed to sell people under 18 energy drinks. He's doing it, and he's making a killing. He's like, Dad, I'm making like 24 bucks a day. He's probably he's making more money than the older one, actually, working a real job. Yeah. Crazy. It's crazy, <laughs> oh, I tell you. Oh, these kids, dude. Dad's these got the side kids. hustle. He's going to be running the fucking Irish mob before too long. He got the side hustle going on. Yeah. Always. It ain't Uber, bitch. Got this hustle. Got this hustle? Let me tell you, dude. I hustle. I hustle all fucking day. All day. Yeah, so a, bo a box, I don't know. The doorbell rang. I thought it was going to be here. I guess not. Um, Yum Box is coming. Snack crate, I don't know what the fuck's going on with that. I don't know. They sent out another snack crate, but I'm not sure that we were that we were in on the right time for that. So it might be a little while. Um, but I think the biggest, most uh, spectacular thing that I'm looking forward to is uh, my birthday celebration. It's going to be pretty cool. If, if if it works out, it's going to be pretty cool. Welcome Should be there. awesome. So on August 26th at 6 p.m., you'll see us here for an extra special long episode uh, of Drunk Live. Oh, it'll be long. It'll be a long one. We'll probably go maybe an hour, hour and a half on that one. And we're yeah. going to have some pretty cool guests. And also, uh, we will be uh, maybe drinking some tequila. Maybe. Because that's... If I if I'm drinking hard alcohol, I'm drinking tequila or or uh, whiskey. So unless somebody brings me a really good bottle of like Jameson eighteen hundred, I'm probably gonna Jameson eighteen hundred. What the fuck is I'm, Jameson eighteen hundred? The the good one. Like eighteen the, year old. Eighteen year old. Yeah. Sorry, the I was thinking. About, about? I had tequila. Mixing in my up head your too. fucking tequila with your fucking tequila. Irish whiskey. I had tequila. In it. Uh, excuse me. Somebody who just got their fucking ass handed to them is my bitch at this point, and you need to fucking watch yourself. A fucking train is more intricate than a fucking it car. Is the, my dude, balls. I had one more piece than you. How is it more intricate? Okay. Challenge. Official challenge. I ain't doing it. We're switching. No, fuck no. Yes. A Maybe. show. Shut up. You're my bitch, and you need to listen to me. A show in the near future will feature a flop. He wants to tell me that he can fucking build this car faster than he could build that train. Fine. I will build your stupid train. You build my car on a show in the future. Okay. All right. Is that a deal? Challenge accepted. Uh, excuse me. Deal. You're on, fuckface. Finally. Finally. He fucking agrees to something. So... Even though I kicked his ass today, we are going to have a secondary pieces, challenge. I just looked at the picture. It's fucked up. Fuck. You didn't even finish. The <laughs> oh, my God. I fucking oh, suck. Oh, jeez. Oh, Lordy. All right. So um, on that note, I'm going to finish this delicious uh, Dooku North. Uh, North. <laughs> The fuck she is fuck boys hey at least i built my fucking lego uh new england not north england <laughs> new england ipa haze uh and uh you can go fuck yourself whatever mm -hmm. it's the north ipa from the river thames you know whatever so me and cage and his stupid fucking braids uh <laughs> are gonna go order a pizza because we're pretty hungry and too drunk to drive anywhere. So, if you want to see what happens to this guy's curly ass hair when I pull these braids out later, follow us on Instagram at the official drunks and also on Facebook at the official drunks. And uh, make sure you give a share to this video and come back soon because we will have a rematch 
flip-flopped rematch. Whatever. Where I kick your ass the second time. And in the words of the great Sebastian Bach, Y'all come to see, see some fucking, fucking trains? <laughs> Dumbass. Uh, and we'll see you again here with a pre-recorded show on August 19th. And then for the big birthday extravaganza, when I turn really old. We're, we're going to have her mom on. We're going to reenact the birth. I'm going to stuff her in there, and she's going to push her out. It's going to be fucking yeah. awesome. Yeah. I'm going to have ketchup. It's going to be like blood. I don't know. I... We're going to get some seafood, make it look like an afterbirth. It's going to be awesome. 29 is kind of a big deal. 29 is a big deal. Well, we can take like a bunch of squid. It'll look like a placenta. I don't know. We'll okay. figure it out. I don't like maybe a squid that. head. Yeah, maybe. So if you want to get in on this mystery box that we're we're looking at here, let us know in the comments, and we will send you uh, an, e uh, an email, an address that you can send that to us, and we'll open your crazy mystery box live on the Do show. Do not send us your feces. I'm telling you. We don't that. want your poop or your dog's poop. Or your cat's poop. Don't be a dick. Or any other poop that you can come across because we don't want it. Um, but definitely send us your garbage because we're okay. You can with send that. us a beer in a box. Actually, you can't. Why? The post office says no. How the fuck do they know? Fuck they the post uh, they send it through Fucking an x-ray machine. It, okay. there's, you, it, it asks, you have to certify what is that this, you're not Total recall? You got an x-ray machine? I don't know. I don't know. So uh, if you have been enjoying your time. Oh, shit, real notes, quick. Battlefront yes. 2, Inferno Squad. If yeah. you're a Star Wars fan, yeah. check the fucking book out. I finished it today. Wow, is all I have to say. Not the video game. The book. No, no, no. The book. Rebels, the Clone Wars, Imperial time period. Mm. It just ties <clears throat> everything together. There's a huge reveal at the end. Great fucking book. If I would have had more time, I probably would have finished it in four days. I stretched it out to a week and a half, but wow. Yeah. And I haven't even told you the big reveal. No. But no, I don't know anything. So, but but you're book. you're working on a pint and a pipe. So pint and a pipe. So that review is the, going to be the, on there, huh? You know, the first episode I'm going to do is definitely a review of uh, Battlefront Two Inferno Squad. So, and even though uh, we're coming to you every other weekend, you're going to get new Je stuff like this. Janina Gavankar, who plays uh, I can't remember her name. I'm so fucking drunk. But uh, I, Iden Berrios uh, from the game, translating into the book. Fucking awesome book. I blew right through it. It was it was it was so fucking easy to read. It was one of the easiest books. Christy Golden, big shout out to her. Awesome she rocked author. it. Great. Pretty cool. Book. Pretty cool. So we have reached our time limit at this point. Our self-imposed time limit. Well, because if we don't get it done by an hour, apparently there are people behind us that will shoot us in the head. Um, Maybe. ISIS motherfuckers. I don't know. I think it's Annie Wilkes. Okay. Come on, Annie Wilkes. Name sounds familiar, but I can't place it right Dude, now. Dude, Misery. Okay. Kathy Bates, Annie Wilkes. Oh, she's yeah. over there. She's over there with a sledgehammer. Yeah, yeah. Eh, ready to kick her ass not so good on the feet and ankles there. no so uh make sure you check out drunk quickies because we've got all of these beers that we're drinking right now all the reviews are coming in the next couple of days oh, and check out our review for uh ozark ozark it's coming also so in the next couple of days on this channel jason you'll be bateman. Able to see our drunk quickies on that love jason bateman uh and our reviews for these and some new toys that we got and all kinds of fun stuff on our drunk quickies yes for those for asking we are working on some more Drunks Can Cook. There is one more coming up, and we are filming more as we speak. And don't worry about Drunk at the Grill. It will absolutely continue to, to work itself. Oh, yeah. Don't worry about And that. the best part is, is that we're going to be doing a lot of, like, fruits and veggies and stuff, which a lot of other channels aren't doing. So I think that's going to be really, really fun. Sweet. Excellent. So this is KG. This is me. Uh, this has been Prison Rules Lego Build on Drunk Live. I'm going to fuck this guy up next time I'm gonna when fuck we her switch. Later. What? What? Oh. When we switch, and I still kick his fucking ass. We'll see you on August 19th for a pre recorded show because we're going to be watching Sandlot at Tioga Sequoia. And then for an extra special birthday celebration on August 26th when we should have some really awesome guests on. I'm really excited for that. So. That being said, give us a like, give us a share, make sure you subscribe. When you share, hashtag Drunk Live. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and you can see our Twitters and all of that stuff down in the description. Go take a look at my Twitter. It's beautiful. Twitter. 
Uh, this has been a drunk live and we will see you guys next time. <laughs>